Across the Western world, foreign aid is under the spotlight as voters face cuts to public budgets and increased costs of living at home. Today we ask, who gives the most? In the 1960s, the OECD, or the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, created a strict definition of what can be officially classed as foreign aid. They called it ODA, or Official Development Aid. To meet this classification, all donations must meet the following three conditions. First, the donation must be a grant or a below market rate loan from a government agency in a donor country. Second, the donation must be focused on the promotion of economic development or welfare in the recipient country. And finally, the recipient country must be a developing country. By this definition, military aid or aid that promotes the donor country's national security interests is not counted in these numbers. As a result, figures such as the estimated $29.1 billion the USA spent on defending the EU are not included here. Neither are any commercially aimed donations, like export credits, where the recipient country is given generous terms for them to order goods from the donor. These types of agreements are often used by countries like China, who give lots of money, but only a little in official aid. Finally, because only developing countries are counted in these calculations, the recent bailouts of countries like Ireland or Greece are not included in these figures, despite the latter amounting a bill of over 256 billion euros. With these caveats in mind, let's dive into the data. Here we are using the 2017 Development Assistance Committee data. The 2018 data has not yet been finalised. As we can see here, the USA is by far the biggest giver of foreign aid, with a grand total of $35 billion. Germany is in second place with $25 billion, and the UK is in third with $18.4 billion. In fourth we have Japan, followed closely by France. So these results are roughly what you would expect them to be, with the biggest world economies donating the most. But are there any better ways to look at the data? Reorganising our chart to show which country donates the most per capita paints a very different picture. This is where we take a total ODA given by a country and divide it by their population. Here we can see that the USA loses its pole position, giving around $108 per person in aid, dropping them to 17th place. The leaders by this measure are the Scandinavians. Norway is out in front with an estimated $780 per person. Luxembourg comes in a close second with $718. Sweden is third in the rankings, followed by Denmark and Switzerland in fifth place. So, why do countries give this money out? Well, in 1970, the UN Commission set out a goal that developed countries should donate 0.7% of their gross national income by 1980 at the latest. How many countries meet this target 37 years after the deadline? Five. They were Sweden, Luxembourg, Norway, Denmark and the United Kingdom. But what about more secretive countries that don't report their aid spending to the OECD? China has opted out of international reporting systems like the OECD's Creditor Reporting System and the International Aid Transparency Initiative, because China considers the details of its overseas development program to be a state secret. However, a team of researchers at Aid Data have compiled an accurate estimate of China's spending by referencing news reports, publicly released documents by government officials across the globe, and from field research. From this, they have estimated more than 77% of total spending is outside the definition of official foreign aid. Over the 15-year period they have analysed, China spent an average of $5.5 billion a year on ODA. In this time period, the USA averaged around $25 billion a year. But when all types of governmental financial expenditure to foreign countries, we see that over the same period, the US and China look a lot more alike, with the former spending $390 billion and the latter $354 billion. So with that out of the way, who receives the most in official foreign aid? It may not surprise you, given the current political situation, that Syria tops the list with a whopping $10.6 billion. Following in second is Ethiopia with $4 billion, then Afghanistan with 3.8, fourth Bangladesh with 3.7, and fifth is Nigeria with 3.4 billion. Please let us know if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe to us for more.